I am cleaning purses. I have a Dooney and Burke. I have a hobo, suede, leather, all the goods. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to Tree Loves to Resale. I decided to record um, a video and actually I am going to show you guys how I go about cleaning some items. What I'm cleaning right now are some purses. Um, they're really, they're a little bit nicer leather purses and actually I have one suede purse. I have a coach bag that I've been working on. Um, it really just looks like it's uh, needs some shining. It's not, I've already cleaned it once and I will go through what I, how I clean them. And then I have this suede hobo international purse. And I picked this purse up yesterday and I just thought it was beautiful. And I'll show you what it looks like, but it does need to be wiped out and it's suede. So I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> how I go about when I bring in um, a little bit more expensive purses and I will do my best to show you me working I'm gonna change my camera angle here so you can see what I'm doing and I'll talk through it so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I've already wiped out this coach purse it does have one ink mark and if you don't know, usually alcohol can get off the ink mark. This one isn't that bad. So I'm actually just gonna take a wipe here and just clean and just wipe it because it's really not that bad. And I think that that should do it. And then I'm just gonna wipe it out again. I have been working on this one for a while. I haven't, haven't been happy with it. And I watched a friend's um, video and I found this stuff and I kind of like it. And I will put her, put her video in the comments or her channel in the comments so you can go and watch it if you'd like. Uh, that's where I found this particular, and it looked it's a healing balm and it looked a little, it looked really good when she used it. And so I bought some and um, want to see if I can make this coach purse look a little bit better. It just looked so dry. I mean, it's obviously got some spots on it. It's vintage. Um, so I'm just going to kind of rub this on there and see when it dries what it looks like. Now none of these purses need like a full immersion of water or soap, but they do need cleaning if I want to get maximum amount of money for them. So, and you know what? I really actually, this is just a little thing that came with it. I actually don't mind doing this. I actually like it. It's kind of therapeutic. So I'm just gonna let it dry. Now, because these are not fully immersed, they don't need to be stuffed. If you fully immerse these in water, you might wanna stuff them with a towel. The next piece that I'm gonna work on is this one it's this bag and <clears throat> I picked this up today and it is Borsala by Hobo now I know Hobo is a good brand I don't know about Borsala hopefully I'm saying that right and this really honestly the clean inside is super clean but the outside I did want to wipe down so I'm actually, um, I'm actually going to use this because it works pretty well for just like a, a cleaner and a conditioner. 
And I also have my coach cleaner that I could use as well, which is this. And it's just a conditioner. And I usually do use that on my coach bags. I'm just going to go ahead and use this sponge. Um, this just needs to be, this one really just needs to be wiped down. It's in, it's in pretty nice condition, but it did have a couple of marks where I wanted to wipe it down. Just a couple marks in the back. This one looks pretty nice, but I could literally, I will put very nice condition for this one and it is really nice. And it is leather, I already checked. And that's about it. But I do try to, any bag that's leather that I sell, I do clean them because I find that they sell faster and I get pretty much top dollar. Now, I'm gonna work on this one next. I did just see that this one is missing a couple of stones, but you know what, it's okay, I didn't, I didn't, See that before but I'm all right with it and now this is suede now what I use on suede is this this is what I have for suede I bought this at a repair shoe repair place and I asked him for his best product for suede and that's what he gave me and this this bag isn't really dirty it just needs a fresh wiping so that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe it down with the suede cleaner. You know, suede is a type of leather. So you could use like a leather cleaner, but I like to use the suede cleaner. And then I am going to wipe out the inside. I just use like a... Disinfectant. You know, and <clears throat> nobody wants to buy, you know, something that's dirty. So I like to just clean everything. And I usually put that in my listing. Inside clean item. Okay. This one actually, I thought it needed more cleaning, but it really didn't. Just needed a really good basic wipe down. Now, this suede, this one right here is the one that does have some spots on it. It does need a really good cleaning. I don't know if you can see. So I am, I'm going to wipe this one out. And I'm going to clean it really good. And I'm going to use the suede cleaner. And it's kind of like an olive green, this one is. And this one will probably have to dry. And then I'll have to come back. So I'm hoping, I've used this cleaner several times before and it does just dry. But let's hope I didn't ruin it. You just never know. Sometimes it can be unexpected things can happen. But you can see the spots that I cleaned it. I debated on whether to buy this one because of the spots. I think I paid $6 for it, but this is a good brand. I should be able to list this close to 40, I think. It's got a really nice clasp on it. So I'm going to let it dry. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So 
I'm gonna let this one dry. I'm just gonna set it over here. And then the next one is a Dooney and Burke bag. It's all leather. I picked this up. It was $20. It's really nice. I actually picked it up thinking that I might keep it, but I wasn't sure. So I am going to use, first thing I'm gonna use on it is this for a cleaner and see if I can get, it just has a couple of small spots that I'd really like to get out. I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna come out or not. They're not appearing that they're going to. Let me see here. If I use this, I don't know if they're, they look like they're in the, let's see here. I'm hoping I can get it out. Just let it dry. a really beautiful bag. The bottoms of the purses usually need to be a good wipe down. And then this side has some ink marks. So I'm just going to see if I can get it off with this little disinfectant that I have. And if it doesn't come off, then I will try alcohol. It'll dry, and when it dries, I'll come back. And then the inside of this purse definitely needs cleaning. I just kind of pull it out. <clears throat> See this spot right here? Like I wanna get that out. I wanna get all these spots So this is not leather right here, the lining. It's fabric. So I might have to use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. But see, it's got stuff on the liner. So I definitely wanna get that out. So what I'm going to do is get some Dawn dish soap. And spray it on there. Okay, so I've got some of this power wash. I love this stuff. So what I'm going to do is just Spray my, I should have put this down so my workspace doesn't get all nasty. Put this down. I'm going to spray it with this stuff in hopes that it'll just come out. Now I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Okay. And while that's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and work on this coach bag. Now I've already washed this out a bunch of times. Okay. I bought this online for like 25 bucks, wanting to try to restore it. It was really dirty and, and just kind of yucky. So what I'm going to do is, is I am going to clean it up with my coach cleaner. I've had this coach cleaner, liquid moisturizer, I don't know, for forever, um, my personal use. So I'm just going to use it. 
and see if I can kind of make this shinier and look better. It's okay. It's not. It just looks, it doesn't look like it was taken good care of. It's just really dry. So I am going to condition it. And I might end up conditioning it twice. and then listing it. My idea for when I bought this wasn't to make like a pile of money, but it was just to see if I could get it to look better and then see how much I could get for it. I think with ta with shipping and everything, I paid 30 for it, which it should sell for, I don't know, at least 70, I think. So what I find when you're cleaning coach bags is you want to go ahead and <clears throat> undo the straps and stuff and just really clean them. Sometimes I feel like whoever owned them just never really cleaned them. You can tell by the leather. So I am just going to see what I can do. There is one little ink mark right here. So I might get, let's just see here if I can use this and get that off. The stuff is pretty good. I think I just got it at Walmart. I was just trying a lot of different things doesn't appear that that big one is going to come off. Let's see here. Just really clean everything good. Actually, I'm going to grab some alcohol. Let's see if All right. I think that that's okay for that. Just do this. All right, so let's let this dry. It already looks better. It already looks shinier. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back since I scrubbed it pretty well. And I'm gonna see if I can get those marks off okay so I'm back to this purse it's been soaking for a while so I'm just gonna go ahead and use um, this these little wipes see if I can get it off the ink seems to be coming off just good See if I can get this, whatever this was, up here off. Just kind of scrub on it. I know it seems kind of tedious to do this, but I personally believe that it's worth it to save these items and to sell them, to be able to sell them and make more money, and to save them. So, for me, it totally is worth it. For 
my business model. And what my goals are. But you have to decide if it's worth it for you. Plus, I don't mind doing this. It allows me to pick up more items. I probably would have been better off if I would have got a wash rag and wet it, but I didn't. So I'm gonna spray this corner really good one more time and then I'm gonna get a wet washcloth and scrub it. Okay, I am back. So I am going to try to scrub this with a washcloth. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, it is definitely looking better and it is definitely coming off. So that's good. So, just gonna scrub it a little bit more, let it dry. <clears throat> and see how it dries. This one pretty much the inside was the dirtiest part. The outside had a couple things that need to be scrubbed off, but not too bad. I personally wouldn't have used this bag myself, it being so dirty on the inside. So, let's see here. I can get... And when I list this, I will list, I will say it's clean on the inside, has been wiped down, I will list that. Okay. So, I think it just really needs to dry so I can see what it looks like. Okay. And then the outside, I'm going to finish. I'm going to go back to this product, this leather milk. In my listing, I will put in it has been cleaned and conditioned is actually what I will write. And this is a really beautiful bag. And the number is right here. It's a little tag. So I am going to let it dry and I will show you what it looks like when it's dry. Now my last purse that I'm going to work on is this one. Now when I bought this one, again, I bought it with the intention of cleaning on it. Um, and it is, let me see what brand this is. This is an Agner purse, okay? And I do like Ag, um, I, um, Agner. It's kind of, this purse isn't as nice as what I originally thought. Let me see here. And it doesn't really say anything. So you know what, I'm starting to think that this isn't leather. I thought that the trim was leather, but I'm starting to think that maybe it wasn't. And maybe that's why it's kind of cheesy. So, I don't know, I'm gonna still wipe it out. I'm gonna wipe it out and clean it up. 
and I will do a Google search on it and see what I can get for it. It's fabric. I thought it was trimmed in leather, but maybe it's not. Regardless, I could still use it myself. It's a cute purse. But it would explain. I'm going to go ahead and just spray these with this. Because I'm interested to see if it's leather and if it's going to, if it'll come out. I'll just use it as a guinea pig. Yeah, let's see here. I don't know if it's leather or not. Definitely needed some scrubbing though. Even if I'm gonna just use it myself, it still has to be clean, so. We will do a little cleaning on this. And I will show you what it looks like when I get done. later on in the afternoon and <clears throat> I kind of wanted to show my items because I am going to be listing them tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and show you I am gonna purse I think it looks pretty nice it's pretty shiny this coach vintage coach bag I am going to list that this looks really nice as well this um, hobo bag looks great and then this looks really nice and let me see let me see oh wow this is gonna look great I have not finished this one but I am gonna go ahead and finish it right now um, the spots some of the spots did come off so I'm gonna go ahead and take my suede cleaner one more time to this bag and I'm going to push the camera down so you can see it I'm gonna wipe it down one more time and you can if you're interested in seeing the finished project you can um, go to my Instagram page tree loves to resale and I will have pictures posted on there because as soon as this dries I am going to go ahead and list it and I'm going to go ahead and edit this video the other bags turned out very nice excited about those so let's see here I'm going to go ahead and use some of this healing balm on this and see how that makes it look. Stuff was really quite nice. did wipe out the inside of this one already and when it dries it does dry quite nicely so I think that that's gonna be it I think that that's gonna be all I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna wipe out <clears throat> the inside of this one really quickly Make sure it's nice and clean. Let it dry.
Yeah. And that's gonna be it. And let it dry. So, thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. Again, consider giving me a thumbs up and um, subscribing to my channel if you like more of these kind of videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.